Hey guys, it's me. It's the end of the weekend. Uh, getting ready, cleaning up a little bit, just getting everything situated, being back home here in the weekend. And I do have the very last of my green bean casserole and mashed potatoes. Mostly, mostly, mostly just green bean casserole. <laughs> um, and I, I'm not sure if I told you guys the story or not. I think I kind of gave you a little rundown. But um, this weekend, when I went to stay with my <laughs> with my boyfriend. Um, I had a bunch of this for dinner, I would say Friday night, and um, like all day on Saturday morning, I smelled like green beans, and it's because Caleb Joe put so much in here. He put a lot of green beans, a lot of french fried onions. I'm not sure if he put double or triple or quadruple the amount that, that was supposed to be in here, but it was a lot, so I smelled like french fried onions, so be careful with that if you don't want to stink like I did, because it was really kind of embarrassing. And so next time I do a holiday dinner like this, and you know, it's not my favorite thing in the world anyway, um, I think I'll just stick with a big sweet potato mash and throw some green beans and do like a pot pie instead of doing this as well. Plus it just makes it easier on me and less food, because I had so much food, I really didn't need, you know, quite this much, and I think a pot pie would be even better, just put some green beans and peas and stuff inside of there. So that's my plan, because I don't like to smell, I want to eat it so much pineapple, it smells sweet and good or something like that, you know, I don't want to smell like fucking green beans, that's gross. <laughs> Green bean casserole and Walking Dead doesn't get any better than this. And by the way, I think Mr. Ted had a little bit too much to drink this weekend. Okay, so I guess you can't see this, but I just made some mashed potatoes because there were so many green beans in there. I just couldn't stand it, so I got some instant mashed potatoes too. Okay, so I'm being really bad and having a bit of a midnight snack. Um, don't have to be 100% you know, hardcore person to have this lifestyle, so this is like a Lumatar wrap. Um, Annie's Kitchen, I believe. A little high fat. Not too bad. So good. Hello, hello, friends. We are just uh, making some food for preschool, maybe a nibble, one can of pumpkin, one box of cake mix, makes a delicious bread, muffin, cake, whatever you want to call it. So that's what we're doing, just wanted to check in, let you know. We eat a lot of this stuff, we do. Mmm, pomegranates. Hey guys, happy Monday. It's that wonderful holiday Monday after Thanksgiving. So I'm still eating leftovers <laughs> and loving it. I actually doubled this back up with another almost full can of pumpkin. Actually that I just had lying around. And um, actually added just some random walnuts that I had. Pretty, you know, down to the bottom of the bin. So it's got some fat in it because it already had pecans as well. And, you know, had to put the pumpkin in it and then extra sugar, coconut sugar, because um, we, I think we double cinnamoned it up last time and just made it really, really bitter. And um, maybe didn't put enough sugar in it <laughs> or something. So now it's good. It's really delicious. It's got the right ratio of flavor, and I am eating this for lunch. Yum. Okay, so go ahead. So we have Thai coconut. I always get Amy's and Annie's mixed up. Ooh, it's too high fat, too high salt. Ooh, so bad. But it's vegan. <laughs> it's really good. Cheating. Oh yeah, yeah. Bad, bad, bad. And my soup was together. I'm gonna have to work out later. So do I. Okay, so my kitchen is a huge mess. I'm trying to show you as little of it as possible. A little bit of cinnamon in here. And 
Vanilla? I don't see that, so we'll just, just do it with cinnamon. You can see I just filled it right up with water mostly. With a little bit of space, but not much. For frothing, so. Who's one of these puppies? Oh, yeah. You have to plug it in. I keep telling you guys about this plug in factor. There we go. Okay, so there you have it. Bananas, water, cinnamon. Almost all the way up. That's seven bananas. Okay, so here we have 13, wait, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 dates and two and a half bananas. And some water. I should have put the dates in first. And there you have it. No, 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 no. Hey guys, so I just wanted to tell you a little trick that I sometimes do. Um, this Daterade got kind of thick at the bottom. I don't know if you guys like it thicker or um, most people, if you mention the chunks, they don't like it. So if you get the chunks at the bottom and you're lucky enough to, you know, not be at work or something, if you're lucky enough to be able to use your blender again, you know, just go ahead. There's no reason why you can't just go ahead and put it in here. Like this is way too thick for me and chunky. So I'm just going to add some more water right now and just have a little snack of it because I couldn't finish it before. So it's perfect. I just really love the vanilla. It makes it nice and rich. So go ahead and add it. A little bit of that and we have some more water already added sometimes add cinnamon but I don't really always have to have cinnamon I think we're just gonna go with this one so the white broth for sure how good this is not gonna be quite as good as a super fresh one Hello, hello. So I just wanted to let you know, lately, what I've been doing or what I try to do is just bringing up a big old jug of orange juice for snack time because I um, you know, have a teething baby down there and everything gets pretty hectic after getting you know, lunch on the table and then uh, getting diapers done and, and potty breaks and all of that. And um, obviously my looks are... The last thing on my mind right now but um yeah this is instead of coming up here and being like oh I have nothing to eat um, and instead of the way that I used to do it which is eat my juice drink my juice in the morning you know now I'm drinking my juice for mid for lunch basically because this is my trouble time this is when I need that backup so I'm taking advantage of it god bless brought all four <laughs> okay so this right here is just some potato flakes with some water I don't even measure at this point. I know what I like. I like more water. Um, and so basically just stir this up. And you get for a minute or so. And I'm I'm doing this, this is not in my plan. I am just really hungry. I've been drinking the OJ. <clears throat> Here it is. <laughs> uh, I got the mango again, it's been on sale. So I drank this whole thing during the party. Shit, and I just poured it all over the floor. That is so awesome. Great job. Great job, Claire. And it's on my pants too. So that was awesome. So I had most of that. For the part that spilled all over me. Lovely. My house is a mess. And I've been eating these crappy goldfish. I don't even know why I bought them. I need to stop. Too much um salt. Yep. 
So, here's the deal with this. I'm not quite done. Okay, so this looks like meat, but it's not. This is actually um, half of a package of mashed potatoes with nothing else in them, just water, roasted garlic, organic mashed potatoes, and then this is the Punjab eggplant tasty bite package that I've just kind of dumped on top here. And you can see it here. You can also see that it's got too much fat right here. There are some tasty bites that are better than this chana masala veggie tikka masala a couple of them are not vegan so if you're getting this brand watch out read the labels and enjoy <laughs> and drink with lots of water because it's way too salty Okay, so I just want to make sure I get this um, on tape. What I got here. So that's like a thousand, that's like 1100 um, grams of, excuse me, milligrams of sodium, which is a lot. And also that goes up, so I just ate way too much fat. And that's not to mention the sodium from here. So I better just start chugging water pretty much at this point. By the way, these are the mashed potatoes. Yeah. So I had two servings of these. Oh, so much sodium. I'm thirsty just thinking about it. Okay, so this is a very quick and easy weekday version of cornbread salad that you can do. I just very quickly did up the basic cereal polenta corn grits. With this, it's just basically three parts water to one part cornmeal, and um, I've shown in another video which kind I get. I think it's Bob's Red Mill um, right now. So then I have these bacon bits. I actually got, I mean, these smell actually so horrible to me because it smells like real meat. I mean, it smells real. It's actually quite disgusting. I think a little bit of this is going to go a long way. But the boys still... Apparently, like the taste of bacon, so we're just going to add some of the bacon bits in. Okay. So we'll just we'll do this by taste. But in regular cornbread salad, you know, you have to crumble up the bacon, and that takes a long time anyway. So this is perfect. Okay, I really think that's going to be good. I don't think we need any more than that. Maybe just a little sprinkle. <laughs> I know they like the bacon-y stuff. Okay. So we're going to stir this up. Oh, I'll be right back. Great tomatoes because that is what we have that's fresh. Essentially, you could use canned if you had to. Now, the texture on this is going to be different, of course, but really, I mean, come on, it's corn mush. I mean, why go through all the trouble of baking cornbread with usually with eggs and a bunch of other ingredients when you can get basically the same idea this way? <laughs> and plus, it's warm for winter. Now, you can obviously put as many tomatoes as you want. I'm going to leave them out. And um, I also got spring onions last time and then um, we sent something else. So, spring onions and, oh, walnuts. Walnuts would be really amazing. Um, but since we don't have any of those, I'm going to just add some sunflower seeds. Walnuts and pecans would be obviously more decadent. Yes, we'll see how it tastes. Oh, and then the one thing I'm forgetting, which you could leave out. 
some operation. The infamous Maya. Soy free, nothing artificial. Dairy free. Lactose free. Hampton Creek. Egg free, gluten free, cholesterol free, non GMO. Okay, so I went back and added some more bacon bits because you couldn't even taste them after I added everything else. And uh, it's pretty darn good now. It would be so good with real nuts and spring onions, but this is great. So the boys like it, I think, but they wish it had more bacon. So I'll probably sprinkle some more bacon on theirs, and I added more tomato on mine. And I'll probably see if they want a few of these and just put them on. More of the tomatoes than anything else. I really don't need this fat in here. Okay, so I have a lot of fat in my system. Really want to get it out and keep on going with the liquids here. This, you know, and I still I get so hungry because I literally have to go all night. I mean, I don't get to sit down at all. I'm going to basketball, working late, you name it. Uh, organic pumpkin, water, and some of these different herbs. I just put a little bit of splash of. A bunch of different ones. I really honestly don't know what I'm doing, but I know enough to be dangerous. So a little bit of paprika, a little bit of fennel, a little bit of clove, cinnamon, cayenne. Um, and then I had to balance it out with some sugar, so it's pretty spicy. So get some brown sugar in there. And it's actually perfect. I did a good job. I could maybe use a little bit more milk, I think, to make it a little bit more creamy, and I've got it up too high right now. But this is it, and it's good, and this is kind of what I'm gonna just have to for the rest of the night because it's gonna be getting late here, and I don't need to be eating anything else.